Chica, yeah. downtown, with Chef Ricardo Zarate. How are you? Chef Ricardo is from Lima. From Lima, went to London, then came to LA. So he's the triple L guy. Yes. And um, he came to London for, for, I'm sorry, to LA for a few months, and he loved LA and says, "I'm going to stay here and watch you guys your first own restaurant that you own, yes. and you want to, you're planning on only opening more, and then." Uh, so we just had dinner. It's a very simple restaurant, Peruvian food. That's where you're from. You, yes. came, you came to the basics. Yeah. Do what you do, and um, we've had ceviche, lamb chunk, uh, uh, pollo con arroz, yeah. uh, local sea bass. And then now you're going to prep something for us that I didn't have, which yeah. is a very the typical Peruvian. Peruvian friend is called uh, Lomo Saltado, which is, uh, I'm going to explain you right now, it's a uh, filet mignon, which I'm going to carry right now. And it's filet mignon, it comes with onions, you know, I'll, marry, I'll, I'll just put a little bit of garlic and pepper and salt, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to saute that one with onions, tomatoes, a little bit of uh, a cilantro and the sauce I'm making here we have a ginger uh, ginger vinegar and garlic and I'm gonna make it right now. You have a nice walk aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So a little bit of oil. What kind of oil? Uh, olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive yeah. oil. Okay. And then I'm gonna fry the meat. Peru, you, you will find that dish, right? Yeah, like any, any restaurant, maybe Peruvian, when we introduce uh, these onions, the Peruvian food to people, they'll give the first dish we introduce. So the onions are not, they're not no, chopped in your meat, no. they're big, big yeah, chops, big, right? Big chops, okay. you know, just the first thing. Then I'm going to add the tomatoes. You know, normally you use Roman tomatoes. Together, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a very simple dish, you know, very uh, like a quick dish. But you know, sometimes simple is better, right? Yes, yeah. I love it. So how heavy is this wolf? Is it heavy? Yeah, it's a little bit heavy. Is it? Yeah, it's heavy. What is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice, right, I wish I had one like that in my kitchen. Yeah. And uh, so it's almost done. I'm gonna add the sauce. They say uh, it has like a soy sauce, vinegar, black pepper, ginger in there. So, yes. so you make that sauce in advance so it marinates together? Yeah, yeah. I make it like the sauce because it's more easy to cook, you know, instead of having all the ingredients. Right. For, yes, for and you like to make it in advance and sit for a few days so it all stays all the together? Flavors, yeah. Okay, yeah. So just a saute, we add a, a little bit of cilantro. And, and then yeah. well, while we're having dinner, you told me you, you just created a new, your first product. Yes. Which is a sauce that um, you... It's called anticucho. So you, what's in there? Tell us. Uh, the anticucho sauce is a Peruvian sauce. We use it, it's a barbecue Peruvian sauce, which is we use it for marinate. You know, meat, fish, vegetables. You can use it for. Oh, for anything, right? Anything you can grill it, you can pan fry, you can roast it in the yeah, oven. And so you, you, you want for mar marinating only, or I can cook with it also. You can cook with this cook. one, so you can do whatever. It's like anything you can do, it's very tasty. Yeah. You can see it's very smelly. It has like a, it. It's it's really vinegar, good. beer, you know, cumin, peppers, aji amarillo, the Peruvian chili. It has like a aji panca, you know, it's a, like a, also another type of Peruvian chili. So where am I going to be able to find the sauce? The sauce, uh, we just launching the sauce and you're going to be able to find it, uh, you know, like a Chef Sarate. You can look at uh, the website. Um, and, and we just working on it. You know, and it will be coming, it will come in bigger, big bigger jars, yeah, big yeah. yeah. And I can't wait to uh, 
to use it on, yeah. on like, <laughs> it could, I mean, it smells so good, it can go on anything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great. Well, thank you so much, no, Chef. And then, oh, we have to mention the dessert that we had. We had, tell us what we had. Yeah, we have the maracuja uh, uh, creme brulee, and we have the carrot uh, mousse, which is, a, we call it algarobina mousse. And then you, you told us something very interesting is that some people are allergic to chocolate, so they yeah. spread for them, they couldn't order that curry. Yeah. You know, and I went like, allergic to chocolate now, that's really bad because yeah. chocolate is so good. But that's a, yeah. that's a good... It happens, you know, some people is allergic and then they substitute the, the chocolate. Yeah, but it was, it was very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, everything was very good. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Chef. Thank, Thank you, you Chef. Thank you.